name is Natalia Rubchinsky. I'm a paleobiologist at the Canadian Museum of Nature. What we discovered was the first evidence of a camel in Canada's high Arctic. So today, camels are associated with arid environments, especially hot environments. Um, people are really surprised to find out that in fact camels originated about 45 million years ago in North America. They would have arrived in Eurasia via Bering Land Bridge, which would have connected Alaska and Russia. The camel remains were discovered on West Central Ellesmere Island in the Strathcona Fjord area. Now there's two fossil sites that we're working on there. One is called the Beaver Pond site, and then about 10 kilometers away, there's the Filed Leaf Bed site, and that's where the camel was discovered. And in fact, it took three field seasons to recover all of the bones uh, that we currently have. These are just fragments, and they all put together make up um, part of the limb bone of a camel. We have a couple of lines of evidence that indicate this is a camel. First, there's collagen fingerprinting. This is work done by Mike Buckley at the University of Manchester. Using collagen fingerprinting, he could identify from the fragmentary remains that this animal was a camel. At the same time, we were putting together the fragments that we collected in the field. And these came out together to show that this was a large cloven hoofed animal, and this is consistent with camels from that time. In the field, these fossil fragments really look just like shards. Um, they could even be just fossil wood. They look a lot, in fact, like the Eocene wood that we're also finding in the Strathcona Fjord area. So in fact, the first time I found and picked up a piece, um, it wasn't certain until I got back to the camp that it was actually bone. Strathcona Fjord has a really remarkable fossil record of Pliocene age, so about three and a half million years ago. Um, we have evidence of this time in the form of fossilized trees, so there's a lot of fossilized wood. There's animals like a bear, a deerlet, we have beaver as well, and of course now we have evidence of a camel. There are several traits seen in modern camels that could have been very helpful for the high arctic camel. For example, the wide flat feet that are useful for walking on sand could also have been useful for walking on snow. In addition, the hump serves as fat storage, so this could have been essential for an animal that would have to survive a long, dark, cold winter. In addition, camels have very large eyes that could also be suitable for seeing in low light regime that would have characterized the winter in the boreal forest. Working with John Goss at Dalhousie University, we were able to establish the first direct date of this site, roughly 3.5 million years old. So this is a very important time in the history of the planet, because at this time, the planet was about two to three degrees warmer than it is today. Yet our climate research shows that in the Arctic, the temperatures were 14 to 22 degrees warmer. So what this find really highlights is that the high Arctic is a frontier for paleobiology. We are always finding new taxa, new um, specimens that reveal important information about the history of biodiversity on the planet and also the history of climate change. Thank you.